The headlines tonight on Dateline 2018, two years on from Brexit and Britain is already immeasurably better. A strong currency, national pride is through the roof and a prime minister to be proud of. Why, <coughs> why we will never, <coughs> excuse me. Meanwhile, Donald Trump's radical plan to incarcerate foreign looking children has been given an unexpected boost following his latest appointment to the White House team. We want horrible laws, quickly, beautifully, and we'll have safety. And Tommy Robinson, political prisoner or racist nutjob. Either way, he's gone full diva. Hold on to your Werther's Originals. Things are about to get freaky. This is Dateline 2018. and welcome to another jam-packed edition of Dateline 2018. As the old saying goes, you can't keep a good news show down. You can try. Tonight's top story. It's exactly two years since Great Britain declared its unilateral independence from the failed European project. They said it wouldn't work, but they said the same thing about Iraq and Alan Sugar's racist tweets. But who's laughing now? It's been a bumpy road till now, but the British negotiating team recently took control of events after they reportedly stole the EU parliamentary Brexit representative Guy Verhofstadt's pencil case. But in typical EU style, Mr Verhofstadt can't accept what he's been bested, calling the whole affair blackmail. With me on the line from Brussels to discuss this in more depth is Mr Verhofstadt, as well as the UK Chancellor Philip Hammond, who joined us from Berwick-upon-Tweed. Firstly, Mr Verhofstadt. You've accused the Prime Minister of stealing your pencil case and blackmailing you for a good deal on Brexit in exchange for its safe return. I didn't uh, use the word blackmail. It was a journalist who asked, uh, is this blackmail? And I said, I'm a gentleman and I've believed that uh, 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 Mrs May will use uh, or uh, abuse uh, blackmail. Well, regardless of who said the word, the UK is using your pencil case as leverage for a good deal in the Brexit talks, isn't it, Mr Verhofstadt? Exactly. Exactly. Well, let's get the other side of the story now from the Chancellor Philip Hammond. It's pretty childish to steal a man's pencil case, is it not? The important point here is that we are taking back control. How we choose to use that control, how we choose to exercise it... But you it. nicked the former Belgian Prime Minister's pencil case. I mean, you did do that. You must have some demands. What is the UK's plan for Brexit now? Well, no, we don't know anything. Jack. It's not just the great unwashed. Even we in the media have been left a bit red-faced at just how well it's all gone. So with a look back at these historic two years, here's our Brexit correspondent, Colette Coleman. The sun has risen on an independent United Kingdom. And just look at it, even the weather's improved. Like a modern-day Cromwell, the man who led Britain's racists to turn their backs on foreign food, foreign people and foreign money. A proud people who are sick and tired with easy, visa-free travel to some of the most beautiful places on earth. A people who inexplicably believe the classic black British passport was blue. A people who think elected members of parliament are unelected bureaucrats. A people able to perfectly embody the phrase cognitive dissonance without ever being able to spell it. But of course the Ramonas have been wrong about almost every detail of this great British Brexit. Such as that crazy talk about the pound crashing. I mean obviously it did, but just wait for the bounce back. It'll be like Gary Glitter's long-awaited comeback tour. Wait for it. For many Ramonas, the reality of this successful Brexit has been difficult to accept. Largely due to the demonstrable gap in IQ, they do seem less politically aware. But the inexorable march towards the people's Brexit is one which refuses to flag. I'm Colette Coleman for Dateline 2018 on the streets of Great Britain. As that graphic made perfectly clear, you're watching Dateline 2018 and you can tweet or follow us on Instagram at Dateline 2018 and we're on facebook.com forward slash Dateline. And we really do love to read your comments, uh, although you might as well just bin them because who cares really. 
Inside the Trump White House, it's being referred to variously as Lollipop Island, Fort Tickle, and even Camp Cuddles, but most of you will probably know it as the forced separation of small children from their parents, then forced to stay in concentration camps for being a bit foreign. Or attempting to escape tyranny. Attempting to escape tyranny in a very foreign way. But since the scandal broke, President Trump has already fired his latest appointment to the role of Secretary for Child Detention. <laughs> He's a showboat. He's a grandstander. You know that. I know that. And the White House press secretary confirmed the president's decision early this morning. Uh, he does not have a role at this time in the uh, Trump administration. And we put out a statement earlier uh, announcing that, and I don't have much else to add. Beyond. We're very lucky now to be joined by Trump's replacement child detention secretary, live from Washington, D.C., Chet Bullet Punch. Thank you for coming on, on the, uh, the, the program. Mr. Bullet Punch, I, look, I know it's early days, but how are you finding working in the Trump White House? It's fantastic. I mean, w working for your hero, Mr. Donald Trump, it's like a dream come true for me. You, when he walks into the room, it's electric. And, and, and it's okay to say that I love the way he smells. Now, obviously, most of your predecessors didn't last long in this job. What makes you think that you'll be different? Well, we don't use predecessors in our office. We just use your good old common American pen and paper. It got us this far. Okay, well... You couldn't really have come on board at a more difficult time, slap bang in the middle as you are of a scandal surrounding the forced imprisonment of children. F fake news. It's not. I mean, what, can you see what this is? Can you see what this is? This is the truth. You may not, not recognize it, but that's what we're trying to bring out to the American people. Mr. Bullet Punch, this isn't fake news as you put it. I, I mean, the First Lady actually visited one of these detention centers last week. What exactly is your plan here? I'll tell you what my plans are. We're, my wife and I were going to go scuba diving this weekend. She'll do the diving and I'll do the scuba. -ing. Okay, you don't seem too keen to address this, so let me ask it again. How do you defend locking up children and separating them from their families? If you come after my kids, I'm I'm gonna come after you, my friend. I'm gonna come after you, and I'll get my NRA buddies. We'll get my AR-14, and we'll make sure you look to regret the day that you threatened my kids. No, I'm I'm talking about the children of Mexican immigrants, not your family. Oh, oh Mexican kids, that's fine. Right, look, we're low on time here, so I'll give you one last chance to address the question on how you can justify the detention and separation of children from their families. Hey, buddy, you don't give me one last chance. I'll decide who gets one last okay. chance. You think you've got okay. it all figured yeah. out, you liberal elites, but I'm coming after right. you, you, you communists. You're all the same. U.S. Secretary of State bad, for Child Detention. Check, check bullet punch. This Thank you. Thank you. In the world. You're watching Dateline 2018. Now it's time for the section of the programme we like to call Your Problems. That's when you, members of the public, send us your problems and along with all the clout that comes from being a major broadcaster, we'll try and fix it for you. And Jack, I believe you have a letter there, don't you? I do, James. Uh, it's uh, from a lady called Beth Anderson from a little village just outside of Chichester called Cockminster and she writes, Dear Dateline 2018, I recently lost my job of 30 years as a florist assistant, they couldn't afford to keep me on, in order to keep paying the bills and support my three disabled children. Children, I was forced to sell the family home, car and dog, but now the company that bought the house are refusing to pay and I've already demolished the house to make way for student flats. I've already tried everything I can. Please, please help. Dateline 2018, you're now my only hope. Yours, Beth Anderson. And you'll be pleased to hear that straight after we received that letter, James was straight on the case. Mm, I think you were doing that. No, it was definitely you. No, I have it written here. It says... J on Cockwinster case. That meant James. Matt, mm, I'm fairly sure that woman's dead now. Now, for the more working class amongst our viewers, it won't have escaped your notice that the World Cup is on currently. Uh, we know nothing about it, but that's why we've got our weekly report from our man in the hat, our World Cup correspondent. It's over to you, Harry Spring. Hello, it's me, Harry and Russia. I'm a great time. Massive country, isn't it? 100,000 miles the last train journey. We did, couldn't believe it. Oh, bloody Germans got out of trouble again. D d never write them off, eh? But anyway, I got, well, I got a text from my wife and she says she's left me and she's taking the kids. But, uh, still having a great time in Russia, though. Hey, see you later. Dos Vidania! Harry Spring there, in Russia, keeping us up to speed on the World Cup. And finally... Since renowned racist Tommy Robinson did the whole country a favour by going and getting himself locked up for blatant and multiple cases of contempt of court, much has been made of attempts to free the man by various racist groups, but we've heard almost nothing about what's been going on behind the walls of Hull Prison. James, 
Yes, since his arrival in Hull Prison, Mr Robinson has been setting up an amateur operatics group with some of his fellow prisoners. Of course, the cameras won't be allowed in until opening night, but we managed to capture some exclusive audio earlier today from what we are told is the full first dress rehearsal. Zip for me do da, zip for me day, my oh my, what a wonderful day. I cannot wait to get my hands on the soundtrack. Well, that's all we've got time for on this edition of Dateline 2018. We'll be back in exactly a week's time. Try and keep it together till then.